Hi, I'm Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment, and you're tuned into the Talking Shed. Uh, today, we're going to uh, show you how to get rid of these old rubber wheels and put on the Yetter Poly Spike. Uh, we've had a lot of questions on the best ways to do that, and it can be a little bit tricky uh, if uh, if you don't kind of look at how to get that Poly Spike on. So the first step is it'll take a 10 millimeter um, impact to get the bolts out of your old uh, rubber wheel. And then the easiest part is to, or the easiest thing to do is just get a screwdriver there in between this rim and the rubber piece and just pry and then put two screwdrivers in there and slowly work your way around and it will come apart. And then the, the tricky part is um, whenever you're putting these two back together because there are alignment holes on the inside. So typically what I do is lay the rim on top of the one side and just kind of have it have it flush it's not going to fit in there perfectly tight and then squeeze on the rim and and the uh, the spike part where it's flush on one side okay so once you've got it apart you lay the spike down with the uh, other half of the wheel flat on the table and then the key here is to put your alignment holes together so as you just lay this down get your line holes lined up and then just squeeze the two pieces together here so it's flush and then just put in your bolt and tighten your nut back here on this back side and just slowly put in one at a time so you'll put in one bolt and then squeeze on this side and get another bolt put in and you'll gradually just do that until you get more and more bolts put in a couple bolts and, and nuts in through there um, it's going to start to get really hard to get the last few so it works out pretty nice just put it in a vise and go ahead and one at a time just tighten it down snug and go ahead and, and get the uh, get the bolt and nut put in there that way and then by the time you make it to the last one it's all pushed together so it's kind of a process that Start down here with one, get two or three in, and at, it'll get pretty tough after that. And then throw it in the vise and let the vise do all the work, and now we've got our complete wheel. So that's how you transition a complete uh, rubber wheel, standard from your planner, to a Yetter Poly Spike wheel. Now you're ready to go to the field in any conditions and get that seed closed, increasing your seed to soil contact. Thanks for tuning in.